Hey, Dan, we'll attempt to cook this egg on this Copper Chef induction cooktop here. And I've put a little bit of butter in uh, my pan here for flavor. And I always crack my egg in a bowl instead of putting it in the uh, pan. And that's one reason right there. You drop a shell in it, you just take your shell and pick it out like that. And so that's a lot better than trying to scrape it out of the pan or. If you have a bad egg, you don't want it in your pan, you have to stop and wash everything. So I'm going to turn this thing on medium here. That's 275 degrees, so it says Fahrenheit. And you hit the power button. And so it starts heating up. And this is, this is almost as fast as gas. I mean, as soon as you turn it on, it starts going. And so I put my egg in here. Let's see, I really don't see no use in uh, stopping the video because this goes pretty quick. And you can tell my counter is not real uh, level. <laughs> I'm going to try this little trick that somebody told me about. Now, I don't know whether it's going to work or not, but they say if you take and put you a spoon of water in there and put the top on, it'll make that top look just like it's been easy over. So let's see. So far I can't tell any difference in it, it just looks like it's still frying away. Nobody didn't tell me how long you're supposed to let it sit in there like that. <laughs> ah. But it's not covering over. Oh well, let me see if I can flip it real quick without busting the yellow. And that looks pretty good right there. That one is done. Maybe overdone. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm real impressed with that uh, cooktop as fast as it heats up. You know, it's just like I said, now it's still warm from where that pan was setting, but it's nothing like a stove I would be. Okay, now let's see if we can scramble a couple in there and see how that goes. Get ready to scramble another one. <laughs> so I've got to make room for it. That sure is good too. That's really about the perfect easy over egg. You know, no, all the white's completely done and the yellow's running, so that's the way you usually want it. Okay, now we're going to see how it does with a scrambled egg here. Want to, uh, like I said before, break your egg in the bowl. Instead of trying to 
stir it in the uh, pan. No matter what they say on TV, don't never use metal utensils with these pans because they will scratch regardless of what they tell you. Just a little dash of milk. Time you lift your pan, it stops heating, and it'll stop. It'll stay stopped till you put your pan back on there. And as you can see there, it come back on again. I'll probably have my arm in the way, but anyway, pour it in there. Scrammer here. You see the way it's going up there? It's ready to be moved around some. I don't like to ever touch it until it starts forming a little bit around the edge and I'll start scooping it in toward the middle. While this thing is finishing up, I want to tell you, I sure do appreciate y'all watching my videos, and I hope you watch more of my videos. And hope you can give me a thumbs up if you can, and join my channel. I need more people to join my channel. So anyway, turn the power off on that thing, and I'll get a plate over here, and I'll dump it in there so you can see it. going to be a good scrambled egg right there. And so, like I said, I hope y'all enjoy watching this little video. I enjoy making them for you. And I hope we get the opportunity to make a whole lot more for you. So until next time, y'all have a good day and a, and a good whatever. And come back and see me real soon. Thanks again for watching my video. Goodbye.